Puppy, I'm, I'm trying to do a review here. You, you kind of just in the way. Do you need the, the heater? Okay. Today I've got the Sex Panther. No, but for real, that's what Miles named or called this skateboard or the longboard. It only makes sense if you stand the board upright, then you can see the Panther in the design. But why they wanna add a sex in there, I, I don't know. Anyway, it's been a while since I reviewed a board, so let's see if I still remember how to ride one. <laughs> Well, you got some power here. There's two 1500 watt motors that can take a rider up to a top speed of 30 miles per hour. One is 16, two is 22, and three is 29. I think I could have reached 30 miles per hour if I would have held down the throttle for a little longer. The board felt like it had more power to give. I released it because I hit a section of washboard on that road and I started to get the, the speed wobbles. But I did that test on loose trucks. Typically when I do a speed test, I tighten those trucks up. But with this, I didn't have to do that. It is a very well-balanced and stable board. Some high power boards just about throw me off the back end when I hit the throttle. Let's see how the Sex Panther does. Here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, you know, Pretty fast. Not so much where it's gonna, you know, throw you off the back of the board, but there's 20 in about a half a block. And then cruising around 15 miles an hour, if I release it, power cuts right off nice and smooth. And then if I re-engage full throttle, oh, that's very smooth. Smooth and powerful. It's exactly what you want. I really like the power delivery. You don't have to be an experienced rider to unleash the full power of the Sex Panther. <laughs> Steep hills is what the Panther was built for with the belt drive system. You just have a ton of torque with this setup and I'm gonna need it to tackle this 15% grade. All right, so I got a full charge on the board. Speed mode three, 15% grade hill. Oh yeah, you got some good power. There's bouncing back and forth between eight and nine. Oh, there's eight. Motor sounded pretty good, back up to nine, getting close to the top. And that is pretty much it. That was the steepest hill I've taken any board on, and I'm impressed with the power. I'm 190 pounds and only did down to eight miles per hour. Oh, why? No! Brakes typically aren't the smoothest with belt drive systems. Let's see how the Panther does. As soon as you release the throttle, it feels like regen brakes. There is some resistance in the motor that naturally slows you down. I think going around 20 miles an hour if I hit the brakes hard. Oh, beautiful. Yes, nice and smooth. Brakes are awesome. You can really crank them. The tires aren't gonna skid. It's not gonna throw you off the board. I really like the brakes. All right, it's time to see how long the board can go. I've got the 43 volt, 10 amp hour battery fully charged, which takes five to six hours to do so. And for this test, my average speed was 25 miles per hour, and I only had about a handful of stops. That wraps up the range test. My app recorded 20.97 miles with 720 feet of elevation gain. I am more than happy with 20 miles when going that fast. So you got distance and speed with the Panther. <laughs> First thing off, you do have the option to change from the standard wheels to some off-road wheels. And for the range test, I use these wheels. For everything else, I put the off-road ones on. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do that. And they also give you four additional belts. It weighs 25 pounds. It can carry a rider up to 300 pounds. One of the nice things about this board is how long it is. And so you have a very wide stance. And one of the biggest things that I've noticed is the stability and balance you have. I would classify myself as a novice rider. And so I have to tighten the trucks up quite a bit to feel stable 
And this one I don't, the trucks are very loose. I took it out of the box and within 15 to 20 minutes, I was going as fast as this could go. And the nice thing about this board is it's concave. So the edge is actually about a half an inch higher than the middle part. And then there's kind of grooves at each end. And so it holds your feet in place. Now with these off-road tires, I've got them 10 pounds less than what they recommend. And if you do that, it's gonna take care of all the smaller vibrations uh, like you get when you hit Shipsville Road or a sidewalk line. And then you can just check the flex out on this. So for bigger bumps, you know, it actually handles those fairly well too. I like the fill of the remote. Up top is a power button. Underneath is how you change the speed modes, one, two, and three. If you double tap that, it puts the board in reverse. Up top is a control wheel, and then below is the USB-C port, and they do include a cable for charging. Well, here's the things I like about the Sex Panther. The cushiness of the ride is fantastic. I like the option that you have to switch out the tires from the normal skateboard tires to these off-road airfield tires, and then just the power. Almost a 30 mile per hour top speed, tackle some very steep hills. There's just a lot of good stuff with this board. Now, if you wanna check out the other boards I reviewed in this class, head over to my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews sorted by price and capability. As always, I appreciate you guys hopping on here and checking out my content, and have a good day. Grrr.